Lee, and it's a city known for its food, fun, and festivals. We're talking about New Orleans, and right now the Big Easy is launching a unique event called NOLA by NOLA. It's part of a plan aimed at jump-starting the city's tourism business, which has taken, of course, a big hit from recent hurricane and, of course, the COVID crisis. I caught up with the soul queen of New Orleans, Irma Thomas, and music producer Sig Greenbaum to learn more about the event. It's a coalition of New Orleans music venues, 35 plus actually, with over 300 shows taking place wow. uh, throughout the city as an opportunity to bring people back to the city and uh, give an opportunity for locals to get out and enjoy our legendary music venues and support musicians. I have to ask if Jazz Fest was canceled due to the Delta variant, why do you think it's safe to do NOLA by NOLA? Well, cancellations were for various reasons with, uh, with the different festivals. Uh, for NOLA by NOLA, you know, we're following the protocols that the city has laid out for indoor events. Mm -hmm. So everybody coming to the shows will either have a vaccine and show the proof of vaccine, or we'll have to get a, uh, a, uh, a test within 72 hours and show proof of that test taking place. So we're taking every precaution we can to make sure it's uh, a safe place for people to come and to gather and uh, enjoy music. Well, that's good to know. So overall, how is New Orleans doing with COVID-19? Well, we're doing wonderful. New Orleans is a city of survival. We know how to mm -hmm. come back and we always support each other and we support the music industry as much as we can. And this is one way that we're doing it by inviting the visitors to come to enjoy the music with us. It's nice to be able to get some sort of normalcy back. Um, but how is New Orleans doing? You know, obviously you talked about COVID, but what about after Hurricane Ida? How are you guys doing? We're doing much better than a lot of places. Some of our surrounding cities uh, in Louisiana are still waiting for a lot of things to happen for them, but we're trying to support them with the music and giving them somewhere to escape for a little bit to get away from the worry of trying to come back and get on their feet. Definitely. Well, but good New to hear. New Orleans is doing very well. I'm glad to hear that. Um, yeah, restaurants are... Yeah, are, are bustling hotels are seeing people uh, return and again the music venues are, are working hard and this coalition of venues and what we're doing with New Orleans and company to get the word out is uh, is also driving that feeling that we can get back to where we need to be yes well it's very exciting that music live music's coming back glad you guys are doing well but what comes next what's after NOLA by NOLA Well, uh, there's plenty of things happening. Uh, there's Halloween celebrations that are going to take place. And of course, the, uh, the shining light in the distance is always Mardi Gras. And we're yes. really hoping to have a really great, successful Mardi Gras season coming up. And there's the Bayou Classic in November. Lots of great events. Uh, you can find all that on NewOrleans.com. That was going to be my next question. Where can we go for more information? And Mardi Gras, <laughs> by the way, um, I have never, <clears throat> excuse me, been there for that. That is a bucket list item for sure. So I'm glad you guys are doing well. Excited for music coming. So thank you so much for your time. Our thank pleasure. you. All right. Well, if you'd like to see this segment again or get more information, go to firstcoastliving.net.